Hello and welcome to another episode of Hima Reviews. There are three things I really like in life. Swords, coffee and books. So when I get an item that combines at least two of those, I'm really happy. And that explains why I have been looking forward to this so much. Let me just show you it. Before I begin on the actual review of the book, I would like to say a word or two about the authors. Now, I don't really know Alex as much, I know him from an article he did uh, on Longsword Length, which I thought was very, very good, but I do know Keith Farrell a bit more. I have attended some of his lectures at various events, I have talked to him, I have fenced him. Uh, he's a very good scholar and he is a very good um, longsword... how should we call ourselves anyway? Are we longsworders? Longswordists? Longsword doers? I mean, you have to say brewers, you have the rapiers, what are we? I... I think I'll make a poll about it. And by the way, while we're at it, how do people who practice flore call themselves? They're not florists, are they? I mean, some of them might be, but still. Anyway, to get back on topic, uh, Keith Farrell is an excellent scholar. He did a lot of research, he has a blog encased in steel. Um, and he's an excellent swordsman as well, but the most defining thing about him is that he is a great teacher, and it really shows in this book. Uh, now, I really don't know much about Alex. I have, as I said before, read an article of his, and I thought it was good. Uh, and from what I can make out um, from his pieces in the German Longsword Study Guide, he seems to be a very capable guy. Now, on to the book itself. It consists uh, out of several chapters, and it's not really based on a single manuscript. It's actually based on Lichtenauer's tradition. Uh, it does mention Fiore as well in a couple of places. However, it focuses on the German longsword, as the title says. So when we take a look at the book, it starts with very basic things, such as parts of, long, uh, parts of longsword, uh, the basic stances, uh, what the height, to, uh, the height to total length of the sword should be, um, basic questions that a uh, newbie will probably have. So uh, that's somehow, let's say, the intro of the book. Then it moves on to various stances, it describes the stances, and they, the thing I really liked here is that uh, they actually describe the variations on the stances that are used in our uh, context, so in modern sporty behema, let's say. So in various tournaments, as well as the historical ones, and they tell you what the differences are. So uh, for Fontag, if you hold it up here, if you rest uh, the blade on your shoulder, if you rest with a with a flat on your shoulder, uh, shoulder, stuff like that. So maybe that can give you, as an advanced practitioner, some ideas uh, that you haven't really thought about before. Then we have, of course, uh, the basic strikes and how they're done. Um, now again, what I really like about this is it doesn't focus on any single manuscript. Instead, it uh, extrapolates from several manuscripts and um, gets the gist of it and tells you the gist of it. So it's not something that you should use to teach yourself longsword per se. Uh, then, of course, uh, he moves, or they, the authors, move on to uh, some more advanced techniques such as the Meisterhauen and the Plieren Mutieren. Uh, and they also mention a lot of the principles and their theories on principles. Uh, so let's say the timing, so the indes for uh, and danach, and the various distances that, that are used, which is highly useful both for novices as well as advanced practitioners uh, because it can give you some extra ideas and another viewpoint on these things. Now, I think this book is really, really, really awesome. It's well written. Uh, it doesn't have everything, but it has most of the things you'll need. And the way it's constructed means it's um, it's really well structured actually. So you can just you can actually read it cover to cover if a, if you're a novice to get a feeling of what the German longsword actually is and how it's used. I would actually recommend the book to anyone who does longsword. If you've just started it, it's an awesome starting point to see what uh, the longsword is and how it's used. If you're an advanced person, this book can serve two purposes. Firstly, it is a great reference tool. Uh, it has most of the stuff in it and it enumerates the differences between various manuscripts. Uh, and 
it can give you another point of view or extra ideas on this. So I think this should be a staple of any longsword. Any person who studies longsword or practices longsword. Uh, so yes, that's it. Um, I hope this gets uh, revised a little bit, uh, added some of the things that, that are missing, though not all that much is missing. Um, and I hope I get to see more books from these two authors, because I, this has been so far the best longsword book that I have read. Also of note, it's not just hard copy, you can also buy an EPUB, you can buy a PDF um, and use it on your uh, tablet or e-reader or whatever, so that's also an extra bonus. I hope you liked the review, I hope you find it useful. If you've read the book, please share your thoughts, uh, tell me if you agree with me, definitely tell me if you don't and why you don't, so that uh, we can have a debate going on. Of course, if you like the videos, if you like the reviews and my ideas, please subscribe, and that's it. Have fun and fans long and prosper. Life is good.